Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you for joining us for another session of the Gabonese Operative Grand Rounds. For this session, we're honored to have with us Dr. Gay Rousseau, a neurosurgeon from North Shore Health System in Chicago. She's also a board member of the WNS and has done tremendous work in terms of public awareness for concussion and protection of our children. Gail, I would like to thank you for joining us and we are all very excited to listen to this very important topic. Thank you, Erin. It's nice to be here. Well, first let me tell you a little bit about the background uh, on this uh, slide program that we're getting ready to present to our colleagues. As you know, Erin, over the last year, you could hardly open a newspaper without there being a report or a story about a concussion related to sports. And of course, the AANS and CNS, America's neurosurgeons always have shown leadership in this, but the topic has become one that is just uh, in the hearts and minds of everyone in the viewing public. And so our national organizations thought that this was the right time for us to gather together what is known, what the best scientific evidence is, what the best available consensus is, and present that as a united group of neurosurgeons to the public in an effort to be able to be as helpful as we can to our patients, our future patients, and to do the responsible, important things that we can do to aid in improving the public health. So this slide set was developed in the summer of 2011 by a consensus of a large number of experts in the field. In fact, Erin, I think this may be the first time that we have such a slide set that has been agreed upon, a, a, a neurosurgical topic in which an entire slide set has been vetted by the AANS leadership, the Congress of Neurological Surgeons leadership, the Joint Section on Trauma, the Think First Board of Directors, the leadership of the Council of State Neurosurgical Societies, as well as the individuals who represent organized neurosurgery on the NFL Head and Spine Injury Prevention Committee. So uh, this consensus is what we'd like to present to our colleagues today in the hope that they will download it from the websites of the organizations I've just mentioned, AANS, CNS, Think First, in order to use it in their own communities. So concussion in sports, information for your community from America's neurosurgeons. And we frame this in terms of, of questions that the public and the media have. What is a concussion? Why is there an increased focus recently on sports concussions? How are sports concussions treated? What programs are available to help prevent youth concussions? And where could a member of the general public or the media go for further information? So first of all, what is a concussion? And I'd like to draw the attention of our viewers to the fact that all of the slides that have neurosurgical information are referenced, and you'll see those references at the bottom of each slide. I would also draw the attention of each neurosurgeon to the fact that there are uh, a select group of references that are listed on the website for reading, uh, uh, about a dozen current and important papers that can bring even the neurosurgeon who does not normally treat sports concussions up to speed on this topic so they can feel comfortable addressing this public health concern. A concussion is defined, as you see there, complex, pathophysiological process affecting the brain induced by traumatic biomechanical forces. And this comes from the consensus statement on concussions at the most recent international conference on concussions in sports. For the purposes of the general public, it's usually defined as any change in neurologic function that's the result of a mild traumatic brain injury. What's new is that by definition, only about 10% of concussions involve a loss of consciousness. When they are performed, the CT and MRI are often normal, but about 15% of those individuals suffering a concussion may have symptoms that last longer than one year. So this is an example of the deceleration injury 
that occurs, the forceful motion of the head.